Hello, welcome to More Dance with Kalida. Um, number five, I think. We had like seven Let's Dance videos already in this group, uh, which you can check out. They are still here, the recordings. And then I decided I wanted to do more. Hi, Joyce, welcome. I wanted to do more videos, so I started a second series, which is called More Dance. And for this one, we are at number five. We will be doing two more sessions, once per month. And so the next one in June will be shimmies. But for the one in July, I don't have a topic yet. So if you have any topic wishes, feel free to write them in the comments or um, tell them to me later. Hi, hi. And um, so I'm a bit early today. Hi, Aline, also, welcome. I'm a bit early today because it's been a while since we did one of these and there has been so much happening that I wanted to catch up but not um, talk for so long into the session that I don't have time for the dancing. So I will start with the catching up. Hi, Vene, welcome. Welcome to the slightly early version. I am talking a bit so I can catch up before we dance. Um, first of all, before I forget, tomorrow one of my favorite dancers from Belgium, Lou, is holding a free workshop in, um, in Zoom, Facebook Live format. And I will add a link in the description of this video after the session. Hi, hi, Caroline, welcome. So you can join that. I really recommend her uh, teaching on live as well as live. And this is a great opportunity to get to know her work. It will be about uh, how to improve your practice and um, how to keep growing. Hi, hi, Kate. Yes, you made it. <laughs> hi, my name. So it's fun. It's fun that we already have a few people. I was talking. I, I was imagining being talking alone for a while. So welcome. Also, um, one of the ways that I have been coping with the situation of late, I hope you're all doing well, by the way, is um, when I get anxious, I try to channel my energy because it's too much into doing something, doing something positive. And for me, this has been creating. I have been making making a lot of videos, online classes and different things, which is great on one hand, because it's a good way to, to at least make something positive instead of just hiding in fear. Uh, but on the other hand, people who have wanted to study with me, they, they see what I have on offer and it's too much. So they ask me, Kalida, I want to study with you, but I don't know where to start. So if you are one of those people, you're not alone. Um, for them, for you, I will try to explain briefly what it is that I have made and um, what the options are. So Johanna even suggested I make like a choice flowchart. If you're looking for this, then that is what you need. So I might even make one of those. Uh, hi, Ingun, welcome, welcome. It's so nice to see you guys, I've missed you. And so the first thing that exists is this. We have the Facebook Live free sessions and um, we'll have two more at least coming up, one per month. Hi, Sophie, welcome. So if you want to um, follow them, they're all in the group. You can just join whichever you want. And if you want to download them, I have... Um, hi, Miko, welcome from Japan. I've made a tip jar and I'll put a link in the description where you can download the videos and you can donate whatever you want for that. Hi. Uh, next to that, I have my instructional videos and I've been adding... Hi, Monica, welcome. I've been adding more videos in the past few weeks and more are coming. But if you don't know for sure which one you want to try... Hi Bettina, welcome! Uh, I have a subscription now. It's called All You Can Dance. And then you pay a certain amount per month and you can watch all the videos, all my instructional videos at once. Hi Sophie, hi Rosemary! So the All You Can Dance subscription is for those who want to check out my instructional videos and are not sure yet which ones you want to buy. Or maybe if the streaming works, you can just keep, keep doing that. Okay. Next to that, if you want to work more, if you want to have a bit more interaction and I can see you, I have now the Zoom classes. And we have one theme. Hi, <laughs> thank you. I will show you what it is, one moment. It was a last minute decision. So I, whoop. <laughs> this is live. I've just used, maybe this is mirrored, but this is um, Rimmel. Probably this is mirrored. It's called Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses in the color 21 Red Dynamite. So I just put it on top of whichever lipstick I was wearing because I thought it was not 
read enough. Hi, Delara. Welcome, welcome. So the Zoom classes are um, three, three lunchtime sessions per week, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. And I record them with Facebook next to the Zoom. So you can join them live or you can catch up later and you get all the recordings. Hi, hi, Kate. Oh no, yes, I already saw you. Uh, so you can get all the recordings afterwards if you want. And for the Zoom classes, we, um, we work quite intensely on strengthening our body. So we work from the inside on technique, but also relaxation, range of motion. And then on Fridays, we combine that into whatever dance part we are working on. So this is something for people who want to work on technique, but from the inside, more connecting with your body and seeing what it is that you can do instead of just only doing technique, which is already available. Hi, Shiona. Hi, Karin. So a lot of the Zoom people are actually uh, joining live today, which is very exciting. And next month, June, we work on shimmies. So if that's something you want to deepen on Explore, the, there's still a few spots left. We don't have a big group, but June is for shimmies and July will be for posture and arms. Okay, then the final one and then we'll get to dance. Hi, <laughs> uh, what I'm working on now and I'm really excited about is something, hi Kissy, is something you can add next to whatever you do. So even if you're studying with someone else or you already have a subscription or videos or line, uh, live sessions, uh, it's something that I wasn't able to do anywhere else. I called it tip drops. My husband, Mr. E, who, is, who has mastered the hip drop, uh, came up with this name. And it's something you can subscribe for. And then I will send you one email per week with one of my favorite tips in video format. So you get five to 10 minutes of me speaking to you and explaining to you or even demonstrating something you can do and work on within this week. And um, you can sign up for this or for updates about this because we haven't gone live yet by putting fire in the comments, so a flame from the emojis, or you just write fire if you don't find it. If you do this while I'm doing this video, I will send you the link so you get updates and three free tryout videos. And the first real tip drop when you subscribe, the, what, the paid one, um, will be how I make combinations. So that's, that's very exciting. Um, I've noticed with doing the live sessions that it becomes easier for me to make a short combination. And this, hi Joke! This might be useful for teachers or for dancers who want to make something for a dance or even for improvisation. So tip drops, hashtag tip drops, give me fire and I will send you a link so you can see what it's all about and you can subscribe early, earlier than people who don't have this link. Okay, now we dance. Well, do a little warm up and then we'll go into a 3D combination something that is based on a veil move that I once did, but I want to do it with no props, with a veil, for those who have a veil, get it nearby, and with fan veils for those who have fan veils. So you can choose how you want to do it. And if you have any questions about anything that I offer, so the Facebook Lives, instructional videos, the Zoom classes, or the tip drops, fire, yes, flames, uh, anything like that, let me know, I am here for you and I will answer all your questions. Okay, let's dance. Let's dance. <sighs> Talking a lot because I'm excited and I haven't been doing live Facebook <laughs> for a while. Let's breathe. Also, any questions about makeup? I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Hi. Yes, talk to your phone. <laughs> Hi, Katty. welcome. I do the same if I follow a life. It feels so real somehow. Which is nice. At least it's something. Okay, what am I doing? I'm exhaling and exhaling. And then my arms kind of float up and I relax the shoulders here. Here also, I, I open here so my elbows lift. Inhale. Fire, yes! <laughs> I've been having too much fun with all the fire. It stands for passion and inspiration, which is what you guys give me. Thank you for joining. I'm very honored to be able to share this with you. Again, exhale and plie, and then here you take your time. We'll be working with the upper body. 
and with bending the legs. So both will be useful for the combo. Again here, you take a moment to lift the elbows. The hands are still in front. Let's do this for a while. So lift, 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 lift. If this is tricky for the shoulders, bring the hands a bit in front and it will be easier to rotate. And then we'll push. So I lift and I push the wrist and then I push the fingers. Lift, push, push. 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 And we'll go a bit lower. Lift, relax. Lift, relax. So I'm twisting my upper body. Rotating the elbows up and relaxing. Up. Relax. Lift. Relax. Lift. Relax. Lift. Relax. I'm bending my knees. When I go to the side, it makes it easier to twist. And look over the shoulder. Smile to the front. And away. Up and away. Up and away. <laughs> Two more, on each side, last one, okay, now a bit of upper body, let's lift the chest in the front and drop opening the back, opening the front, opening the back, let's do the whole body opening and close, inhale energy and exhale, opening, I bring the weight to the front, and then I bring the weight to the back. Open and back. My chest slides out so the shoulders open and my chest slides back. Hi Marie Fleur, welcome, bienvenue. We have international audience today, exciting. Now let's round the arms and open the arms. My wrists go first. And I open. I turn the wrist, turn the wrist, turn. Hi, Wendy. Now we have dance capis. I miss you guys. Two more. One and two. Okay. Let's pull the arm down and tilt the chest. We'll use also this in the combination. Turning around your heart. Closing the ribs here, opening. Closing, opening. Yes, we'll train at home if we can't go to Crete. We'll do this here. Hi, Fiona, welcome. Let's have both arms up, but still do the same, stretching the side of the ribcage. Bending one knee at the same time. And shake out, shake out, shake out. Shake out wherever you are. Some people have even been joining this at work. Cecilia in Sweden and her colleagues did some of the moves, which is very exciting. So for our combination, what we will do is, um, we start simple in a pose. I will angle myself diagonally. I was checking who's there. And then I turn out my my audience leg slightly from the pelvis and I push my heel towards the other leg. I cross over a bit so I have a nice silhouette. It makes my knees come together so it looks like an hourglass. So from here I cross, I turn out and then my ankle goes there. Voila. So that's the beginning pose, one side for the combo. From there I will be lifting ribcage front and back, shoulders stay down but I lift my energy and then bring everything in and down. So my hands kind of float down, my elbows stay up, so my hands are in front of my elbows and then here you can do what you want. So I like keeping the elbows in front of my face but as high as I can and then when I can't go further you can bring the elbows back behind you so they're not like this but more here. So let's try that. Shoulders down, the hands come in. I push the wrists 
Keep the elbows lifted, hands are a bit in front. And here you can do a little lift with the wrists. And relax the elbows down and then to the back, to the back, to the back. What I do with my body is I twist and I twist. And then the standing leg kind of frees. So the energy comes down, down, down. But I'm going a little bit left and right to make it more alive. That's the beginning. Then I have to think because it's easier with a veil than without. <laughs> okay, then I will turn towards my front foot and I will turn this one out more. So I turn up and I step, I come around and then the opposite arm, this is the 3D part, goes towards the audience. So from here, down, 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 turning towards the top foot and then my back arm gives energy and you can do whatever you like with your hand make it make it nice <laughs> so you give some energy with nice fingers most importantly is that you open your heart towards the audience and then you turn away like this so then you go back where you came from hi caroline welcome so again from here down 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 i turn towards the front foot just once. My back arm, the surprise arm. I twist my body first and my hand comes like a whip. There you go. And then you grab this energy. Hi Saskia, Sabine. You grab this energy and you turn the other way. My chest goes first and I kind of look away. I lean and I turn this back arm. If you don't know what to do with it, bring it above your head like this or like this like a little umbrella and you turn away last one on this side down turning towards the front foot whip some energy pull it back turn and here we'll go around ourselves doing the apple picking swimming so I'm Kind of turning with my elbows to the front, but my arms are low. I figure eight with the chest. That's it, that's the combination. And we'll see what happens if we add props to that. Other side with no props first. So I'm posed, crossing over. Down, 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 down. I turn towards the front foot. One, two. My back arm. My chest goes first. I throw energy and I pull back, go into the turn immediately. And here I just swing the energy around and I can step back and we're back to the other side. Yes, I think it's time for a prop. Let's grab a veil if you have it. Um, I'll do briefly with each prop and then you can choose how you want to follow with music. So with the veil, the body stays the same, which is one of the secrets of dancing with props. If you can make it work without help of the prop, it will always look beautiful if you add it. It's very tempting to dance with a prop and make the prop do all the work and kind of hide behind it. But your body is still the source of the movement. So if you can make your body move, the prop will have more life and it will be more beautiful. Hi Christine. Hi Tanya. Yes, this is for you. <laughs> Okay, so I forgot one thing in the non-prop combination, now that I have the veil, excuse me. So we're going to do that also. An arm, and pulling down, an arm, pulling down. Using the rib cage. So I always dance from my center and my arms kind of do, they follow. Okay, with veil, I'm back, back on program. So with veil, same pose, a bit diagonal, a bit crossed over and a bit turned out, lengthening. I have my veil pretty wide and I only use a few fingers. From there, we'll do the front arm, so where the leg is in front. First, a little flick, other side too. Then the veil will slowly come down. I bring it back, 
we don't do this in the non-prop, but it's easier for the turn. Then I turn towards the front foot, so one, two, three. My back arm makes the 3D and then I turn back immediately. But now to make it more, more 3D, what I do is I throw the veil, but I let go with this hand. So it's completely 3D. And then I turn straight away. So this one is about timing. You can hold the veil if you don't have a lot of space, but if you want to, you throw the veil and you turn immediately, keeping this arm in front, and then the veil will spin around you. Then to make sure it doesn't die, you swing it around a few times, find your fingers, and you open it, stepping around yourself, and your back. All right, the other side, the other side. So first, front arm, other arm, coming down. Veil goes behind, towards my front foot, one, two. My back hand whips, and I turn, or my back hand whips, and the other one, let's go. So I have to bring my arm behind, <laughs> and let's go. With a bit of speed, keep the veil in front, and you turn, oh, yeah. then you make big swooshes, and you find the edge. And you keep a poker face, whatever happens. Hi, Tonier, welcome. Let's do this one more time on each side. So the veil is the most tricky one, but it's the original where the combination originated. So from here, down, 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 down. Body stays open, chest is open. I twist a bit to make it easier for the veil to come up. By twisting, I mean tilting. Tilt. One time, tilt, number two, now open the chest, back of the hands together, and breathe. I turn towards my front foot, one, two. I will also do this away from you so you can follow me from the back. Uh, this hand whips the veil, and I turn away. Then you go wild, big figure eights with one arm, and you gently find the edge. If you don't find it right away, don't worry. You can turn and take your time. And if worse comes to worse, you discard and you do it again with no prop. <laughs> okay, away from you so you can see what's happening. Hi, Klimos, welcome. So you can see what's happening with the directions. Feel in front. Uh, front leg arm first. My ribcage tilts, and I look to the veil. Veil goes behind, I go towards my front leg, I turn out, one step, two step. <laughs> I have to think, one moment. So from here, one, two, yes, the back arm holds the veil, the other one lets go, whip, and then I turn into the veil. I elegantly position my feet and I twist my upper body to make it easier. So I do this, instead of only the arm, I twist. Yes, 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 Kalida. <laughs> now with fan veils, it's a bit easier, even though it looks more fancy. So you open them for this one. We pause. We can do once they're coming down, then the front leg first, up, then the back leg, up. Then both, as if we do the veil towards the back. Then I want to turn towards the front leg, so I have to flip. One, two. The back arm gives the energy. And you turn into this veil, the other one can come on top. And then here, you swing around yourself, I'm using the upper body and the hands are kind of relaxed. And you're good to go for the other side. So the same. 
Front foot first, back foot arm. I turn towards this foot, so there. So I have to flip this one. Now my back arm with my chest, 3D. And I turn into the elbow. My other arm can do what it wants. When I land, I twist my upper body left and right. And that's it. I'll do it away from you and then we'll do it music. So, this foot first. Down, down, down. Front arm. Back arm. Two arm. Turn towards the front leg. So I flip. One, two. The back arm. Whoops. And I go into the elbow. Voila. And then I turn. And turn. Final one. I mean final leg. So once we come down, front leg arm, back leg arm, both leg arms. I turn towards the front leg. One, two. I whip the back arm and I pull. And there you go. That's the full thing. Let's do all of this with music. Hi Tiziana. Nice to see you too. Hi Clemos. Let's do this. Let's. Oh, if you want to get tip drops for the new people, give me fire, like a flame, or write fire in the comments and I'll send you the link so you can get a free preview of what it is that will go live soon. Yes, you'll get me in your mailbox three times. Fire. <laughs> okay. I'm always like this. I had coffee today. I'm putting on soothing music so I stay calm for the combination. So we settle first. One arm, other arm, both. So this is when the veil flips to the back. Turning towards his leg and give some energy. Yes, fire! And we turn away. Now the upper body keeps twisting. Fire! Hi, Fiona! And other leg. Front arm, turning the one with the leg, other arm. Both and in. Turning towards the front leg, the back arm, whip some energy, and you pull, turning once or twice. This is where I do the one-handed veil. Let's do this again. No problem. Front leg arm, back leg arm, both leg arms. Turning towards the front leg, the back arm whips and you pull. Going around. You can also bring the arms in. Front, back, both. Turn towards the front leg. Energy and back. One more, because I like it so much. Front arm, back arm, both arms. Turn, give and take. And swirl the energy. If you want, grab a veil or fan veils, whatever you like. I'll do both. So happy I get to dance with you guys. Thank you, Merci, for being here. Front leg arm. Fell back. Turn to the front leg. Let it go. Around. 
twisting the upper body, catching the veil, hopefully, and other side. Cheating a bit to get the veil. And veils. I'm in between my laundry. <laughs> oh, I have to restart the music, excuse me. So one more round. Yes, welcome to the Zoom classes. Nice, nice. We'll shimmy the month away. Okay, fans open. Uh, one leg in front, turning up with crossing over. Come down first. Front leg arm. Back leg arm. Both leg arms. Turn towards the front leg. The back one flips. And you turn the other way. And twisting, twisting, twisting. Other side. Thank you. I think I did this leg already, so I have to do <laughs> one more fan veil flip. Now switch legs, if you did the same as me and did twice the same one. Front leg arm, back leg arm, both leg arms. Turn towards the front leg, whip it and turn the other way. Freestyle, twisting the upper body. Hi Tilly, hi Fatima. Let's do this once with my back towards you. So you can see my foot, footsies doing the thing. Four directions. So front leg first, back leg then. Both legs and I lean a bit to the front. I flip, I go towards my front leg. One turn, 3D and I turn the other way to come back. Now the other leg. Front leg arm. Back leg arm. Both leg arms. Turn towards the front leg, slow. Rip some energy. And turn back right away, bending the front elbow. That was my arm cracking. And then you do what you like. Hi Fatima, welcome, welcome. Okay, once more the veil away from you. And then we have everything. <laughs> In front. Then you exit the stage. 
Oh my God, <laughs> I'm out of breath from turning and talking. So let's do a little bit of a cool down because this, even though it looks soft, is a lot of work. My heart is pounding. Yours might also be if you're doing it, not just watching. So let's cool. Rose asking about the lipstick. I'll put a link in the comments. It's not lipstick, it's a pencil. Thank you, Miku, thank you. Okay. Bring your arms up. Come down, combination style. Other side the same. And then exhale. Exhaling always helps with plie. It relaxes all your muscles, so you can even... If you ever notice movements are feeling blocked, you might be holding your breath. So that's something good to check in with yourself. Are you breathing? Fire! Yes, yes! <laughs> I'm looking forward to sharing the tips you guys because I get more ideas even than I can process so I have tip drops for for years for years to come and mystery is very proud of the name which he should be okay let's stretch the legs a bit so bring one leg in front and then put both hips behind the knees, so it's like I'm sitting behind me, opening the chest until I feel a bit of a stretch here. Then I lift the toes, I interlace my fingers and I stretch to the front. You can wiggle out the hips. And then you switch. My feet are parallel and I bring the weight in front, lifting the front of the pelvis and squaring the hips a bit. Here. You can choose if you want to turn in or out parallel whichever one feels like you need it let's bring the front leg arm across you can grab it and then you can even massage your shoulder here and you see other arm as a fulcrum to lift or drop however it feels best and then you wiggle out some tension and bend front and back you can go left to right other side the same Go around. Both my hips go behind the knee as if I'm going to sit there on a chair, opening the chest, then lifting the toes, straightening this leg, and then I come to the front. Feet can be parallel with the hips square, lifting the front of the pelvis, or you can turn in or turn out the back leg. Bring front arm across. I grab further than the elbow, makes it a bit easier to bring my arm up or down, however I need it. Massage yourself a bit. You can wiggle out any tension. You can go front and back. Go left to right. Let's come up again. And down. Interlacing the fingers behind and going straight down, then lifting the chest and rolling the shoulders open. And breathe, relax the neck. So I'm pushing my hands down, opening the rib cage, relaxing the neck. Yes. Now let's bend, rounding the back. So if you're hanging over your sofa, which you can also do, I recommend hanging over your sofa every now and then. Gently work your way down. Bending the knees, let's bend them all the way. Now gently bring the heels down. Shake out the head, you can grab your elbows. Gently rock, then belly button in. Round your back again, like you're hanging over your sofa. Little by little, you roll up. Shoulders, then the neck, lift the chin. The 
and now you're ready for bed, <laughs> probably. Shake out, shake out. Pause. Voila, that's it for today. Thank you very, very much for, wait, let me stop the music, for joining me for this Facebook Live. Um, you can still check this video later. So as said before, at the very beginning of the video, I talk about all the things I have made and how you can use them. So if you're unsure what to do with me, check that out and always feel free to ask me anything. Also, tomorrow is a workshop with Lou, uh, one of my favorite Belgian dancers. It's free and I'll put a link in the description so you can join it if you want. Uh, it's very interesting, I think. And give me fire if you want to have weekly tips via email in video format. That's it for today. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a great day. Let me know if you have wish topics for the next one after the shimmies. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.